Well, 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 Savivi in the house, and we got the governor. Not the president, just the governor. No senators, nothing, just the governor. Deep carry pocket clip. Right hand tip up. Left hand tip up. Either way is okay. We'll disassemble this here in a little bit. And I don't think we got any bearings, but I think we got bronze washers on this. It's a big knife. It comes in different colors. You can get it at White Mountain, and you can get 10% off when you use the LTK discount code. And I just about tried to cut my thumb. Uh, it's a good size knife. It's not a flipper. You can flick it open with the thumb studs. They're ambidextrous, so you can kick it with your middle finger on the back. Got a lanyard hole in the back. This is G10. It's textured. It's nice. Got a back spacer as well. And if you look a little bit on the inside, you can tell that it's been skeletonized for weight relief. And there's your lockup. That's pretty solid. That's 50%. Looks to be. And got a great pass through and you've got jimping. On that lock bar, makes it easy to disengage and drop. This is not going to be a knife with a great drop. You could loosen this a little bit and make it drop better if you want. But it's on washers. So this one's a little tight. I might loosen it up a little bit when I put it back together. Comes in the Savivi pouch, which we all know and love now. And they give you the stickers for the Wii and Civivi stuff so you can be badass. Put these on the back of your pickup truck window or your knife case or whatever, right? And then microfiber cloth and your little card here and a gel pack and a little plastic sleeve that it comes in. So for, you know, a $55 budget knife, you know, minus 10%, so 50 bucks even, right? Or $49.50, something like that, all in. There you go. It's the C911, and here's the stats as far as it's almost 9 inches overall, 8.75. You know, almost a 4-inch blade, D2, etc., etc., right? So, I was looking at this. When I got this out of the box, I thought it was a little, uh, a little strange. Do you get like a deja vu on this? I did. Okay, so here's this knife, right? But just a little while ago, a few weeks at best, I did a review on this knife. The Steel Wheel Gehenna. Now, hold on. Um, 8.75 overall length. <laughs> Are we really? D2, blue, drop point, thumb studs, not a flipper. Come on, man. That's crazy, isn't it? I mean... That, that's very, very similar. It's just almost a dead, dead ringer. It surprised me because I go, this is strange. I've never, I don't remember the last time I got two knives that were so close together like that. Um, and there you go. The governor comes in blue, gray, black, etc., very strange, though. Almost the exact same length. Kicks open nicely. And just like this, uh, just like the Jahina uh, that uh, Steel Will put out. Yeah, it's washers, not bearings. Made in China. Yes. Same length. Yes. Pull the tape. 
almost four inch blade, pretty close, about a hundred millimeter length and eight and three quarter inch overall, a little over 22 centimeters. Blade stock, who knows? Let's see if we can get into here. 0.114, probably three millimeter. Yeah, three millimeter blade stock and 12.09 which is a 0.476, so probably about the same thickness, really, as the paramilitary two overall. And it's got steel liners that show they're not embedded, etc. And, you know, just for a size comparison, it's a bigger knife than the paramilitary two. There's no doubt about that. How much does this little dog weigh? Eh, it's not too bad. Here you go. Grams. 120. 4.2 ounces. Not bad there. And, of course, you can flick it open with your finger or, you know, your middle finger back here so it does that. Um, uh, ergos are pretty good. You know, the deep carry pocket clip you feel. And by the way, uh, if you put the feeler gauge in here, uh, you got pretty good clearance in here. I think this is 90 thousandths here. So anything 90 or more usually uh, does a good job clearance wise. So this is over 90 from uh, the base here up to the top. But look at the screws. Look at the screws. They're flat, aren't they? They're not button top. And that's what drives me crazy about some knives when they have a button top. That takes up extra space in that gap area, doesn't it? So it makes it a little bit more difficult when you have a deep carry. Uh, so yeah, put the flat screws there with the deep carry. You can get through them right through here. Makes it a lot easier. But yeah, ergos are fine. Yeah, you feel this part back here a little bit. But it is what it is. Backspacer. Good size knife. Nice satin grind. D2 blade. Getting a lot of D2 these days. No access to the pivot here. But we got a number eight there, and I'm not sure if that's a number eight. Well, let me check. Yeah, so the other screws are number eight as well. Like I said, lanyard hole, and it's tubed through that back spacer. So it feels pretty solid. Should be good for piercing, slicing. And yeah, it's really sharp really sharp so nice pouch I think for $50 you're not getting hurt with this knife um, you can get up here it's got a little choil area for sharpening not really a go forward area but a little choil up uh, up here regardless and then you know a little thumb ramp with jimping so you can get up here and put a little bit more direction to the blade and yeah, nice uh, factory edge. Lightweight. Pretty good looking. I like it in blue. Black hardware, which is kind of nice with the whole picture here. And like I said, right hand or left hand tip up and ambidextrous thumb studs. So really the only right handed thing you've got that's exclusively right handed is when you have a liner lock, frame lock, that kind of thing. There you go, right? So, right, as opposed to the left, yes. So, it's a right-handed giveaway. It's not uh, operational left-handed that way. So, yes, that's one uh, thing that's, yeah, not ambidextrous in that regard. Let's find my balance point. My balance point's way back here. It's kind of strange. Usually they're pretty close up here. But my balance point on this is way, way back here. 
Now, blade length to handle. Um, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad. They're getting there. So, and the design flow. That's good. Disappears into the bolster here. Flows into here and around. Yeah, it's got a good design flow through it. Well, let's take it apart. And it's a little tougher to see uh, the hardware situation, especially even through the camera when it's all black like that. But there goes that uh, body screw. He's come apart pretty good. I, I haven't had any problems with the Civivi knives. Okay. Looks like they had a little bit of blue uh, thread locker on there. But everything came apart pretty easy. And it pulled apart. I didn't undo the pocket clip screws. So the liner obviously is being held together right here with everything. And there's the uh, lock bar with the ceramic detent ball. And here's your bronze washer, as you can see area for your blade stop to go to pull this off and obviously you got bronze washer on the other side here your detent hole it's definitely skeletonized here and your backspacer which should be able to come off of there if you wanted it to it's pressed on there pretty good but uh if you could take that off if you wanted. I don't want. I just wanted to look inside and confirm the bronze washers. Um, here's your pivot tube. And if you can see well enough, there's a little notch made right in that uh, underside of that pivot. As you can see. And it lines up with the little notch that's right there in that scale. So it'll line up the, the pivot and keep it locked in place. So you reassemble this thing, you're going to push this right there. If you get it wrong, it won't, it won't go flush. It'll be a little bit above grade. And there you go. And that C, open part of the C, points backwards like that. Bronze washer, and I'm not going to put any lube on that. I'm going to let it just ride normal. So there's your stop. And there's your stop. So you've got two uh, blade stops here. Like that. I'm going to put just a little bit of lube on the detent track. And call that good enough. Then put the bronze washer. Put this back on. Since I didn't separate the liner and the scale, we should be good. And yeah, we're, we're together here. Here we go. And we got that fairly well locked down.
Okay, and what you can do with uh, when you got washers is you can tend to over tighten, which I think I have. It's really easy to do that. Uh, so there's no play, and it's it looks centered, but I'm gonna I'm gonna creep up on this just kind of gently. Where are we? We're centered. Okay. It's, it's okay. It feels a little, a little less flickable than it did. I could adjust it a little bit. Okay. Doesn't take much. And there's no play. And it still looks centered. So now it'll, now it'll flick. Okay. So just that extra little eighth of a turn whatever can make the difference on these like that so got the Savivi governor put back together nice respectable lock up there at least 30 to 35 percent yeah I like it it's very flickable and if you don't like bearings on your pivot because you want a work work knife uh, that won't get gunked up that way that might be a consideration or the steel wheel jaina looks like they're the same knife so either one and they look like they're about the exact same price so uh what have you either way take care thank you so much we do love them knives and you guys stay sharp